We were discussing uh, ways that artists, musicians, and bands could um, easily and simply create a website for their content and um, a user base for their community. And the easiest tool to do that with that I've seen is a uh, development platform called Ning. And uh, we're on the Ning website right now. And with Ning, it's literally as easy as uh, naming your site and hitting create. And you're going to have a great framework for all your content needs. So um, I guess I'll just walk everyone through the process of creating a social network on Ning. And, you know, this is kind of geared towards bands, but it could literally be anything as its tagline says. So um, in our case, let's, let's just uh, create a, a social network for a fictitious band and um, we'll just call it Great Band for now. So Great Band is the name of this social network and we'll call it greatband.ning.com and you can have your own URLs um, for a small monthly fee on Ning, but it doesn't cost anything to sign up, so you can get started and it's fully functioning right out of the box. So I'm gonna hit create here. And our social network has a couple of questions. Uh, we're gonna make it so anyone can see it. We'll call it the best band on earth, exclamation point, and a really great band. Keywords can be music, uh, we'll make it a rock band, and how about uh, indie, because nobody's signed anywhere. Make it English, and we'll hit next. Now, you, now we're on the screen where you'd add features to your network, and this is like you know, pretty pretty fun to do. Um, well, we know we're going to want some photos, so we'll put them there. Probably want videos. I'll just put them there. Keep track of our members. Keep them over there. Definitely want music on the site. And uh, put some music right there. Activity is the uh, you know, everything that goes on the site, you know, uploads of any kind get tracked and you can display that information. How about a text box for describing a little welcome? And uh, let's see, how about a uh, forum to uh, discuss recent events? So I've just literally dragged and dropped things around the screen and uh, I'm now going to hit next. and now we can customize our appearance. And the cool thing about Ning is it has a lot of themes right out of the box that you can pick, but you can also change colors around and if you're savvy with CSS style sheets, you can, um, you can write your own style sheets in there and pretty much customize it to look just about however you want. But for our purposes, um, I guess I'll just pick a pretty basic theme, maybe something along the lines of this terracotta theme. Okay, so we've got our terracotta theme and we'll keep those colors for now and we'll hit next. What do you know? A website. And the amazing thing is that um, you can add all sorts of different content and you'll notice that I have edit tabs next to each little piece. So if I wanted to add photos, I could just click this, get to, taken to a photo page, literally start adding photos from my picture library, and just having a blast with that. So um, I'll go back now to the main page. If I wanted to add some videos, same process. And again, this is all through simple uh, point and click uh, customization, really. Um, if we wanted to edit this text box, 
we could just hit edit and have a wiggy, WYSIWYG here. What a band. Save that right into the site and we've got text boxes and stuff. It's really that easy and um, again the whole framework is totally customizable as you get more into it but it took us about five minutes to basically get a framework up that we could just upload content to and once it's filled out uh, it may look something like this which is my band site King for a day and I'd say this took me about three hours to build and I had no intention of porting over from our existing site but when I realized how fun and easy it would be I just had to try it so welcome to the launch of kingforday.net built in three hours and I'll just walk you through different stuff here's our main page it's rounded out with content from a video player and a playlist player which of course we could play the cool thing about Ning is that like everything is shareable and embeddable which I think is really important especially for artists house um, y you know you can you can get the code for just about anything I'll click on a video here and we'll get taken over there these are coming from YouTube and it's really easy to embed stuff from YouTube and tag things like that and you know it's all about generating your hits so you know while people are on your site they're also getting your numbers are going up on YouTube and stuff like that um, if I want to go over to my photo section we've added a bunch of photos here and they're searchable by album so I can just kinda of display different things and again on the home page we have a built-in slideshow that's rotating I have it set to random but you can change the way that it's set just like that and you can view it in a number of different ways too and as I said before you can pretty much share everything isn't that cool and you can share the link that's your slideshow and uh, let's see what else we've got you can create a couple of custom pages I created one for the uh, iTunes store. Again, I just pasted a graphic in there with a link to our iTunes shop. Where else are we here? I made a lyric page because people like to read lyrics. And again, I pretty much did that all in three hours. And, it, and I've asked people to join. Obviously, we're the first one since it was launched today. Oh, we did have one user that joined and we can keep track of these people and make them friends and leave comments for them send them messages you have a whole message panel up here and really try and have a relationship with your fan base on a kind of more intimate level and um, I mean that in the utmost sense but everything's kind of contained in one and you can share things across different social networks uh... let me see if i can find an example of that basically this is the control panel here for you know editing different things you can import from flickr you can track things with google analytics right here and you can promote your stuff on facebook and broadcast messages to all your members so you kind of have all the features of uh... Facebook MySpace social network but it's yours and you built it and it connects into these bigger ones too. One cool thing are these badges and widgets that you can get and these are shareable items that you, anyone can paste anywhere. This one shows the members of the uh, thing. This is actually a slideshow of people that you can share. You can add videos or here's a playlist so if I want to share our entire playlist I can just go like that click the share code and you've got an embeddable player pretty amazing you can do the same with video too I don't have any in that playlist yet so that's pretty much Ning 